up, y'all? Faye and I are here in uh, New Orleans. Yeah, and we, we're in New Orleans right now. Behind us is Jackson Square, which is really famous. We're really excited. So this food is insane. We know we're gonna get, gain so much weight. It's so good. So we're gonna take you guys to some places that you guys need to visit, some stuff you need to do, and uh, some food you need to eat. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go, y'all. She hungry, she's not trying to play with y'all yeah. right now. <laughs> Look, this is about to be gone. So here we go. Yeah. So of course, if we're from New Orleans, we gotta go get the best beignets in town. And that is Cafe Juno. Look at this. Hola, songs! Yeah. Hey. Look at gorgeous. Ooh, look at gorgeous right yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, yeah. How you doing? For yeah. sure. Better now, man. Yeah. He made his whole life today. Welcome to Jackson Square. It's gorgeous. Look at that. It's Andrew Jackson. He was our whole president. You know, I'm just trying to get, get down here and learn something. Of course, that's what you come to places like this to do is learn more, learn culture, learn things that they don't teach us in school. Um, that's a big one, right? So right here is the Louisiana State Museum, which we're gonna go in later. Okay, we just found out. This is the oldest Catholic church in the country. I can, you know, wow. That's a lot. in a really long time. I like alligator. Oh, why does that look like first. a real sausage? I want you to buy it first because you haven't had alligator before. Up into a sausage? Yeah. <laughs> Mom, right? It tastes like a regular sausage. Right. A lot of people say right. alligator tastes like chicken, but they say that about a lot of things. Oh, look, it is just too hot out here. <laughs> she was tired of it. I'm tired she of took it. her fan. <laughs> she looped in a lock. You know, you gotta be creative. Yeah. She made her own hat. Prevent this anti aging, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Trying to give us a little look. You feel me? Oh, oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Open it back up. There we go. Yup. Oh, can't move too much. All right, so we left the French Quarter and now we are at the city park. So right now we're in the sculpture garden. So in the middle of all of these beautiful trees, oh my God, we will find some cool sculptures. Stranger Things, right? Or what? I just feel like it's gonna move right now. So I'm just gonna move instead. <laughs> oh, that roller coaster is dope. Yeah, every day except today. Okay, well, when you come, don't come on Monday, but come and check Storyland. And it's a music park because they have a, a roller coaster in here. And then they have a miniature golf over here. They have a cafe in here that has beignets open 24 hours. The sculpture garden, the botanical garden we just passed. So come to City Park because everything's here. So where are we going? All right, you guys. So we're going on a booty tour, which we don't really know what to, like, what to expect. So 
We heard it might be scary. We're gonna see some voodoo stuff and maybe some ghosts and stuff. So we just found out that we can't film on this. But one thing that he just did say is where we were earlier today, Jackson Square used to be where they executed people back in the day. In this alleyway that we're in right now is where all the pirates would like come with all those their stolen goods and like sell it to each other and like kill each other. So this alley is haunted and Jackson Square we were where we were earlier is the most haunted place in here. And it's crazy to me that that's where they put a monument and a Catholic church. There's so many cool places to stay out here. Like just this street alone has like five hotels and they're really cool looking. But we're staying here at International House. I really like it. I'm gonna show you the room later because we actually have a terrace off our room, which is dope to have, especially in New Orleans. Now, I'm waiting for Bay. I'm always waiting for Bay in every video. But um, we're getting picked up and we're going to do a plantation tour today. And let me tell you guys, I was really hesitant because when I hear the word plantation, it triggers me. Once I heard, you know, someone say good things about this, they gave me such a beautiful story about it in a rundown. They said, it's life changing, you need to go do it. So, we're gonna do that today. We just finished the tour, but we're walking through the memorial. So out here is over a hundred thousand registered slave names. Waterfalls and greatness in a fruitful paradise. We're at the penthouse level, you feel me? And we have a terrace that overlooks the city. Look, we have all this furniture over here, and look at this. You can see the bridge. That's like the main bridge to go into the other part of Louisiana. And over there, that circle is the Superdome. Mercedes Superdome. I've just been chilling. It's just a nice extension of the room. We've been really lucky to be able to walk to everything, 
And we've actually been really happy that we can walk to stuff because after we eat, walking it off and letting it digest is like the best thing. If you do come and you do see stuff in the French Quarter, I definitely recommend leaving the French Quarter and going to see other areas that are more New Orleans so you can get out of like the touristy areas or whatever. We went in the Garden District, by water, but we even found some mall that was over the bridge, like we left. Soul food restaurant that I heard is that you need to check out is uh, Fire Foods and Spirits. We're about to go to one that's close to the hotel that is like really well known and then we're gonna go on a steamboat ride before we get out of here today click the link down below and go and check out our blog that we did and we talk about a couple of like restaurants and stuff that we did so if you guys want more information make sure you guys click the link down below and go and check out that blog because when you come you don't want to really want to worry about stuff you just want to like know what to do and just be able to focus on that and spend your time exploring and doing those things so definitely check out new orleans tourism i have a link for that down below too. But the other day we tried to come here, right? And it was Essence Festival weekend. So when I tell you, the line was from all the way in here. And I'm not joking you when I'm saying it's past that public parking sign. It was way down the street. That's how I know this is bomb. So I ordered the crawfish et souffle omelet with some grits, the famous biscuits. And they got the shrimp creole omelet. Yeah. Yeah, for work. Yes, yes, yes. Have you ridden on a steamboat before? Okay. Uh -huh. You have not? I have not been on a steamboat before. My this is your first time, though? This is my first time. How amazing is this? She was saying that Mother's wasn't her favorite restaurant. Oh, yeah. Um, it was probably the least favorite of everything I've had. What was your favorite? First of all, all the food was great, right? Yeah, all the food was like, yeah. Like every meal, we were like, ooh, this was a good choice. And I love feeling like that. My favorite was probably Red Dog Diner. What? You've been talking about that. And this one was an accident. An accidental stop because yeah. the Ruby Slipper was too long of wait. She so can't good. stop talking about it. <laughs> no, I had a, you know, I had a breakfast sandwich. It was fire. Honestly, then, I've never eaten a pancake that fast in my life. So I have to say, well, yeah, see? And okay, then, but compared to my water spots, Fly water. Fly water is good there. Yeah. The taste was like amazing. Restaurant wise, fly water. Yeah. For sure. Steamboat, here we come. just leaving the steamboat but then we pass by this like random like looking metal pier thing and this is beautiful it says love wins and locks of love locks of love isn't that dope it was a must do I think that was really cute like the little jazz and stuff what'd you think yeah it was cute but then we went inside Right now. Yeah, it's hot. It's the summertime in New Orleans. You feel me? You just gotta be ready. I had to buy some shorts because I thought I was just gonna be cute with some like cut off jeans, and um, it wasn't the case. So if you come during the summer, just make sure you have a little flowy little dress situation like this one. <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys this. We didn't show you guys the other day, but it is New Orleans 300 year. If you come to Jackson Square or anything, make sure you come and check out this sign, get a little picture. You feel me?